This is Bounce TV and we are at Sano Kitchen. Today I'm here with Steph from Paul and Grace. Hi. We're about to jump into cooking some healthy recipes for January. I want to tell you what we're going to be making today. Uh, today we are going to be making uh, a salad which is very dear to my heart. It mm -hmm. was the very first salad that we ever made when we started Pollen and Grace. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a roast squash salad with black quinoa, avocado mousse, uh, pomegranate and pistachios. Okay, let's hop right in. What's the first thing we're going to be doing? Cool. Uh, to start off with, uh, we are going to be roasting the squash because that will take the longest. So we're just going to pop this on the tray. So you're, now. you're roasting it chunky? Roasting it chunky, exactly. I like that. So we're going to put any spices or herbs or anything like uh, we're, gonna... we're just going to keep it simple actually. We're just going to put a little bit of olive oil and Himalayan salt. <laughs> I'm going to pop this in the oven now and we're going to leave that um, for 40 minutes at mm -hmm. 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to boil the quinoa. And then one and a half cups of water. Amazing. And do you add anything else to this? Or... Just a pinch of salt. Just to season it slightly. Mm -hmm. Cool, so we're gonna pop this on the stove here. Cool, so next we're gonna make the avocado mousse, which is the, the best part. With this, I would do a half avocado per person, because mm -hmm. like, who wants less than that? So is this With avocado stone. mousse simple to make? Uh, it is, so it, again, it's just really free ingredients. So I'm okay, just going to use um, avocado, uh, I'm going to use a lemon. So mm -hmm. per avocado, I'd use a half lemon. So I'm going to use a whole lemon now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use a tiny bit of uh, coconut yogurt, really uh, a tablespoon per avocado again. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put a sprinkle of salt in as well. Um, I'm just using a fork to squeeze my lemon. You can use a juicer if it's mm -hmm. easier, but mm -hmm. I find that you get more juice out of it if you um, if you use a fork. So otherwise, yeah, okay. you just tend to end up with a lot, lot left in there. Cooking hats. I love it. I'm already <laughs> learning things. A nice pinch of salt. If you wanted an exact measure, I'd say probably a quarter teaspoon. Yeah. Would be right. You can use an eye for a spatula, just so that we don't end up with any chunks at all. That looks amazing. Oh it my is goodness. the simplest thing. To be fair, it goes really well with any salad. I would just eat that out of the set. You can do. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I'll use it just as a dip as well at home. Exactly. I'm just gonna pop it into a bowl for later. So now almost all the, the work is done. Mm -hmm. um, the last thing that we are going to do is cook the broccoli. Mm -hmm. So yes, today yeah. we are using just tender stem broccoli. Um, we are almost there with the quinoa. So we're just going to boil the broccoli? Yes, exactly. You can, you can boil it or steam it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to literally cook it for about two minutes. Oh, so you like it nice uh, and crisp? Yes. I'll, yeah, I'll hold on to So the last thing is, uh, we're just going to pop the pomegranate. So obviously you can buy pre-popped pomegranate seeds, mm -hmm. um, but there is a magic about kind of cutting. You can kind of peel it apart and pop them out, but the way I find it just a lot easier is you kind of hold it with your hand underneath and you just smash it and they come out. Kind of looking for a small handful oh, yeah. per portion. So I put the broccoli in? Yes, that would be brilliant, thank you. Broccoli in, the water's simmering. We also have some pistachios as well, mm -hmm. so I'm actually just going to give them a rough chop. You can, you could do this in a food processor if you wanted to, but to be fair, for the time, it's easier just to give them a, a rough chop. All right, so all our ingredients are cooked and ready. It's just assembly time, isn't exactly. it? This is my favorite part. Um, making food look pretty is, probably, um, well, the second favorite thing to obviously eat. So we're going to get um, a nice handful of spinach, mm -hmm. pop that on the bottom. Um, then we're going to get our quinoa. And we're gonna put a nice um, portion of quinoa in here. Again, I'd probably say it's about a cup of, or half a cup of cooked. Um, and then I'm going to get uh, a couple of stems of broccoli pop it in there, probably four stems per portion, I'd say is about right, if you like a big portion. Mm -hmm. I personally do, um, and probably about five pieces of squash as well. Um, now for the best ingredient, which is the avocado mousse. So, so it on. exactly, nice big dollop. Yes. I'm do a little bit more than that, because, you know, why not? Why not? So, okay. um, I'm gonna go pomegranate first. So, nice sprinkle of pomegranate. Amazing. Good. And some crunch. Buy some crunch, which is the pistachios. 
That looks insane. I do love quite an, quite a nice like bite of acid with mm -hmm. pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. um, so I do add lemon to everything, but voila, we're done. Voila! And you can pop that in a lunchbox and take it into work as well.